Okay, today I will show you how to use reflective flooring. So first thing you want to do is go into Final Cut, go into Sequence, Add Master Template, look for your Motion Master Templates, and now you will look for reflective flooring. I will have two inside your uh, Motion Master Templates. You will find two reflective floorings. One is black with a black reflective on the bottom, and the other one is red. Uh, the black one I would use if you do not want to use any color and you just want it to be plain black. The red one I would use if you want it to be red or if you want to customize that background color. So if you want it to be red and switch it to another color, you can. So we'll do an insert. Drop it onto the timeline. And then what you do is you go and add some footage. Now all you need to do is drop your clips into its drop zones. So just start dropping them all. This has 13 drop zones, so you just have to drop them all. I have some nice footage here provided by Jolly Roger Images in Hollywood, Florida. And I just start dropping them all in. Okay, now that you have dropped all your um, elements in, or your video, you can uh, scrub down it. You can see all the clips are in there. Each clip has a reflection on the bottom and also there is a depth of field. When you do render that, it does slow down your render. And there is a way you can shut that off so you can speed up your render. So now what I want to do is change the color of the background. So instead of this red, I would like to change it more maybe to a blue, something that will match more, uh, more to the ocean scene. Maybe I'll do a little blue. I can play around with the colors a little bit. So then what you do is you uh, right mouse click on the clip and you will be choosing open, copy, and editor. And remember, if you click on open in editor, you will change this template and any other template that is associated with, with this reflected flooring. So if you have other projects that have reflective flooring being used as well, that will be updated. So what I would do is open copy and editor and that will create a whole new template and you allow you to start from scratch and not affect any previous templates created. So you hit click on open copy and editor and then it will ask you to save it. So I will save it as blue because I want to make it blue. And just hit save. Now Final Cut will open up and launch Motion for you so you can start customizing this project. Now first thing you will notice is that this template does use up a little bit more RAM than most other templates. And the reason for that is if you click on Render, you have Reflections and your Depth of Field on. If you're doing um, a sample render, you just want to look at it and see how it looks, or you need approval for a client, you can turn both of these off and just come back later, open up in motion, and turn them back on. Or if you do not like the reflections and you do not like the depth of field, you can turn that off and just leave it. Or you can also add on motion blur. That also slows down your render time, but it will give you a much more realistic render. The choice is yours. Now to change the background color, what you do now is click on project and you will click on the color adjustment layer which I have it toggled off because you do not need to see it. I have everything linked to that one layer to make it easier for you and then you click on floor and sky color adjustment. When you do that you click on inspector in your file browser and you click on shape and inside of shape you have your fill color. You click on that, and this will automatically change the sky and the floor for you. Let me turn back on the reflections and the depth of field so you get to see how it's going to look. Okay, and depth of field gives you a nice blur as things get further away. Um, and now what you can do is change the colors until you find a color that you like. So maybe I'll go with maybe a little darker blue, something dark. Let's go with that. Okay. So once I choose a color that I want, all I need to do now is, is hit save. But if you want to take off these little lines that I added, you 
these little lines that you see moving around. If you want to take those off, just go in under floor and you will see this uh, layer called splines. Just click it off. Okay, and you can just close everything up if you want to make it look all nice and just hit save, which is command S. And what, what this will do is automatically save this template as a new template and replace the one you had in your timeline for you automatically. So all you need to do is wait and let it render. Now back in Final Cut, you will see the end result.